Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me. This is GGF, bringing you episode four of Let's Play The Elder Scrolls Three: Open Morrowind, as it were. Hope you guys are doing well, uh, and also ready to check out some more modded Morrowind with me. We are just getting started here. Um, in a series that I hope to play a lot of as a level one pilgrim. Let's go ahead and load here and bear with me, guys. I'm opening something here. Uh, so we have some questing to do in Sedanine, uh, which is different. There's usually not a lot of questing here, but. Um, very cool, uh, Arlay's Trade House. Let's see. Are we ready to head out today? I think so. So, we didn't talk to you. Hello. Greetings. What exactly do you require of me? I haven't seen your high elf face before. Would you like a little advice? Or are you looking for someone in particular? What is your background? I am Eldefire, commoner. Little advice. You look like you can take care of yourself. Then why don't you do something about those smugglers in Adamasardis Cave? It's right over there near the Siltstrider port. Yet these gods, look at them, just strutting around. Someone must have paid them to ignore the smuggling going on here. Uh, someone in particular? The Altmer Arle runs Arle's trade house. So Susius Dargala is the chief agent at the census and excise office. Altmer. We Altmer are proud, wise, and beautiful. The Empire is built on the arts, craft, and sciences of the High Elves. Our pure blood protects us from disease and makes us superior spellcasters. I'm so sorry for the terrible voices, guys. Alright, so, um... Actually, I want to come over here and hunt some... Mud crabs, if possible. Oh, I didn't... We didn't finish exploring... Town here. I see you. Hello. Hello. Okay, that's locked. Uh... Verdunius Nucius' house is locked. And what is your business here? How may we help? This is a wondrous encounter. Welcome. Indeed. The warehouse is locked. I don't see any other way to get in. Um, where does this lead to? Oh. Back through here. So that's not going to work. Oh, the closest. Indeed. Greetings. Hello. Go ahead. I'm listening. Maniel. Um. Let's come down here. Do a little mud crab hunting. Now we're in the thick of it. Awesome. Mud crab. Ow. Come on, you. Gotcha. Two. Awesome. So, uh, if we hit, how do we do it? F. Okay, just press three. A little heart peel. Oh, that's gonna be sweet. That's going to be sweet with those hotkeys like that. Mud crab spotted. Mud crab engaged. Mud crab engaged. I have plenty of fatigue. Oh, son. Alright, that would be our sixth piece of crab meat let's 
So, uh, let's head back. Wonder if I can get across the water without getting eaten alive. Alright, the fisherman. Hello there, with your cool pants. What do you think of our village, Outlander? It's a fine day for fishing. Fine day for fishing, indeed. Is that crab meat I smell? Mm mm. The fish are going to love it. Give him the crab meat. Six. This is good crab meat, thanks. I'm going to use it for bait. Six crab meat has been removed from your inventory. Fine day for fishing. Since you brought me some bait, I've been fishing a bit. It's not the same since Gallen went to Ashes four, five years ago. He was a big help when I quit working for House Halalu. Say, that reminds me of a story. Would you like to hear about the time Gallen lost his fishing rod? Why not? Gallen liked cave fish, so he was always going to Adam Asardis or a Harunard. A Harunardis or the caves under Ebonheart. That was before the census and excise office, of course, and before we had all these problems with smugglers. Back then, this was just a fishing village. Only Dunmer here, except the old stone fist, of course. It was quiet and peaceful. Where was I? Continue. Oh, right, Gallon and his fishing rod. So one day, Gallon comes running into town. It was just a few shacks back then. Back then, no trade house or census office. Anyway, he was soaking wet and screaming his head off about ghosts. He says he was just fishing, minding his business, when a ghost came up out of the water and ah. Uh, a horror nardis. Can you believe it? He was so scared he dropped his fishing rod. I bet it's still in the cave somewhere. The fishing rod, that is, not the ghost. I never found it. I never saw the ghost either. Of course, the cave is full of slavers now. Otherwise, I'd still be looking for it. It was a fun cave to visit when I was a boy, but I wouldn't go there now. It's due west of here, past the Thales' resting place. It's a long swim at my age. Huh. West. Continue. I used to swim out there once a week or so when Gallon was still around, just to spite him. He wouldn't go back in the cave for as long as he lived. Now I visit his urn, oh, maybe twice a year, and say hello to his ghost. Kind of funny, he used to be so scared of ghosts, and now he's left one. Now I'm not asking you to go get it. The fishing rod, that is. That would be irresponsible. But if you happen to find it, well, that's about it. Thanks for listening to an old man. My day for fishing. It is, it is. The fish aren't biting, and I think I know why, but it's a fine day. A good day for this time of year. Although I expect tomorrow to be an even better day. Great weather tomorrow. My knee knows it. Anyway, I've caught my share, and I'm going to have a fine dinner tonight. Let me know if you find Gallon's fishing rod. Little advice from you? You can read, can't you? Oh, okay. About books. All right. Eleni. Oh, Fine Mouth Shack, huh? Wonder who Fine Mouth could be. Greetings. Hello. Cool. Why have you entered my hut, stranger? As you see, I have nothing of value. Um, offer aid? If you are sincere, if you are not only here to mock me, I know someone who was left in the dark, one who is even poorer than I. I speak of Skycrest. Hmm. This is new to me. Skycrest? Skycrest came to visit me back at the beginning of Sun's Height. He brought a bottle of Sheen and we spoke of happier times. I was out hunting fish when I saw a message carved in a tree. It said Skycrest was captured by slavers and being taken to an island hideout west of here. If you find Skycrest and rescue him, I have nothing to offer but my gratitude. Bottle of Sheen? If you find Skycrest and bring us a bottle of Sheen, we can drink it together and speak of brighter days. What is your background, sir? I am Fine Mouth Commoner. As I said, Skycrest may be on an island west of here. I know little else. There are many islands west with caves and tombs. The slavers may be hiding in one of them. 
Good to know. Interesting. All sorts of quests. The sun is starting to go down a little bit. Um, west would be in that direction. Um, well... One sec, guys. I don't know what we're going to do at night. Um, I guess just play through it. There's no, like, uh... Mod requirements for sleeping or anything like that. Alright, let's check these houses. See if there's anybody... Interesting. Fargoth's house. There's that guar. And Draren... Draren Theralis' house. Hello? You're new to Sadanine, right? I'm Draren Theralis. I'm sure you have questions. Go ahead, ask. I have plenty of time. Know anything about necromancy? The traditional Dunmer practices of ancestor worship are not necromancy. Only ignorant outlanders could confuse our sacred practices with the vile sorceries of necromancers. Do you have a little advice? Best bet if you're new here is to hook up with one of the Imperial Guilds, Fighters Guild or Mages Guild. Mm. It's not what you know, but who you know. You get discounts on trading and services, and if you need work, they know where to find it. Services... Okay, nothing new there. Thank you, Draren. <laughs> hello. What was that? I was saying hello to your guar, Gargus. Take my advice and keep your eye out while on the road. Last week I got jumped by a couple of bandits without any warning. Luckily they weren't very well organized, or I doubt I would be here now. What is your background? I travel far and wide, trading with whoever, whomever fate brings me together with. Joey Barda, you've got a scroll of wizards. Ah, silence for 30 seconds. That's nice. Guide to ancestral tombs. Deshan bread. Mori, that's different. And it also has unknown abilities. Uh, you've also got repair prongs and repair hammers. Um, my stuff is going to need repair over time, of course. Oh, I bought that silver short sword and it was not in good condition. That's right. Well, bent probe uses five value two. We'll grab that for two. Um, uses 20. Uses 25, quality 0.5, quality 0.8. Um, we'll take all, all five probes for 33. Um, try to get it for 30. About 31. Oh boy. Three. Thank you. Please come again. Greeting. Hello. Everything on the up and up over here. Yeah, Adam of Sardis is right back here. We should also eat some of these ingredients to see if we can figure out what they do. I think that's how it works. So if we eat a bungler's bane. Oh dear, we just got nailed with, well, drained our attribute speed, I guess. Oh no, and it's going to be a, why did I do that? It's not a temporary thing, is it? Oh wait, it is. Whew, it is temporary. We didn't learn anything though. We already know what they do, so we don't have to eat them. The first thing that they do, we know about that, so... 
don't know if I can handle peeps in here. Let's come down here, though. Nonetheless, on our journey to pick mushrooms and such. I see, is that a coat of flower? They're worth money. Yep. Take them. Yeah, I don't know. If we don't have torches, I don't know how we're supposed to see and stuff. Let's save and come in here. Out of the Sardis. Let's see how it goes. my speed you will die. she's a little tougher than me or a lot tougher ah run ah I'm very weak. She's. <laughs> I'd rather not. I'd rather not surrender. Remember, I have the difficulty turned up. I might have to turn it down. Although I don't have very good weapon skill either. Come on, come on, no! Oh my gosh. Die. Come on. You will suffer oh my gosh, you just nailed me. Now you die. Oh my gosh. Oh no. He's gonna get me too. Oh my gosh, you had one sliver. Oh. Okay, so that tells me, well, that's what happens when we have a very poor short sword skill. It's Oh, it's 20. I thought it was 35. It's 20. Right, we have marksmen, so we should be trying with a bow and arrow. Oh, look at this kite and bow and arrow. Sneak. not be able to hit close range with a bow anymore. Oh, there we go. You have to hold the you have to hold the button back a little bit. There we go. Ah! Got her. That was cool. Tanisi. Take her dagger. Kite and dagger. Netch leather boots. Common pants, common shirt, two chitin arrows. We use so many arrows, though, before I figured out how to use them. Slave key, five gold. Nice. Uh, I'm going to put the boots on. It's 
probably as far as I go in this cave. Um, I don't want to dispose of it. Tunisi Varethi. Varethi. anything down by the camp down here. Bucket. Bellows. Well, a couple of buckets. Dragging those back to, uh, what's his name? will be good. This is where we end our exploration, though, I think. Choppiness. Ah, he sidestepped me. Oh, yeah. Two shots with that thing that thing, so. We still need to, uh, get a lot better when I'm sneaking. And I lowered the skill gain amount, so it's gonna be a slower pace game. So I don't know yet, we're still messing around with settings, we're seeing how they work. Oh, look at this, guys. Cloudy night. Uh, maybe we should head to Balmora for now. What other quest was there to do? Um, find the tax man. I do kind of remember somewhere where the tax man might be. Where he was seen last, anyway. Grab some shroomies. Always good to grab shroomies. So we're going to be exploring in the dark sometimes. I hope you guys don't mind. I'll have to get a lantern or a torch. Hello? Do you want something from me? No, I don't. And what is your business here? How may we get Um, are there... I suppose I have a moment. What is it? Hours of operation. Can I drop this stuff off? I'm listening. No. He's still open, right? Yes, barter. Okay. Let's give him the common pants. Common shirt. The common shoes. Uh, water breathing shroomies. Water walking shroomies. The kite and dagger. And pool pods. Where's the coat of flower? Give me that. Couple buckets. Uh, my bellows. Okay, very good. We're at 82. We're carrying 11 pounds of violet caprinus. Um, so we're going to have to sell like 12 of them for right now. And these we can carry that much of. Oh, huh, we're still carrying a lot of... Uh, must be the armor we're carrying. Total solar 40 for all that? Oh my gosh. Uh, I think you could spare it, buddy. <laughs> Let's see. Um, you don't happen to have a magicka potion, right? You have Flynn. Alright, I'll just take my 40 gold and be gone. Actually make it 44. Boom. Alright, can we get a spell from you? We have 121 gold. We could. There's, of course, spark. 2 to 20 for one second and 5 feet on target. Cast cost of 7. Father's Hand Sanctuary. That's useful. Plus, we 
we have illusion. We have a little bit of destruction. We have some retro restoration. Fortify luck would be cool. But, um... I think we'll go ahead and grab Father's Hand. Sanctuary 1 to 40 for... Well, for 5 seconds. By the time I cast it... Uh... Let's buy it. Alright, 87 gold. Um... Frostbite, 15 to 30, whereas Fireball is 2 to 20, and Shock Spark is 2 to 20. This is on touch, but still, let's get Frostbite. And we'll be good then. See something you like? Just your spells, sir. Alright, so four. We'll go ahead and put father's hand and five frostbite beautiful icons all right cool oh torches do you have torches for sale i didn't see any last time although i'm not sure if i'm looking in the right part of his inventory No, he just doesn't have torches. Does he have a lantern or something? He's got candles. Um, they only last... No, they don't even last at all. That has zero duration. Glass lantern has 2 minutes 30 second duration. For 12 gold is not a very good price. Um, Alright. Goodbye, sir. <laughs> Dual sniffing. Do you want something from me? Alright, um So let's see. Quick save. Go ahead. And uh Go ahead. I'm listening. Let's see, should we head to Balmora? I think it was north. We look at the map. Ah, it's listed. Oh, there's Narmok. There's Caldera. I should have asked for other places. Wow. Say to need Pelagiad. Oh, yes. Let's go to Pelagiad and uh, talk to the Ogrim. And hopefully, we don't get mauled by anything too dangerous on the way. All right. Let's go. You guys are enjoying so far. Look at the stars. Wow. I just love stars. Big space guy in real life. Who are you, friend or foe? State your biz. Everybody sniffing. They must have colds. Eno Arvel. Yes, Alden. What do you want? I'm an officer of the Imperial Law. Move along. What's your background? I am Eno Arvel, a dark elf guard. Do you have a little advice for me? If you kill yourself trying to complete, complete a job that's too difficult for you, it's nobody's fault but your own. Indeed. All right. See you, Eno. Legiat is, I think, this way. Have another guard out. Ordain. May I help you? Ordain Lamans. I'm an imperial officer of the Imperial Law. Move along. Any rumors? At first, it seemed the fuss about the Nerevarine prophecy was just silly superstition. Then I learned that the Dunmer have been waiting for Lord Nerevar to come back for centuries. The Incarnate, they call it. Every few years, an Ashlander appears, and the tribes call him the Incarnate. When the temple goes out, hunts him down, and reveals him as a fake. Why does the temple worry so much about it? Little advice? 
you find yourself stumbling into trouble when you're tired, stop being so reckless. Keep an eye out. If you're entering unfamiliar territory and you think it might be hostile, slow down to a walk, look around, catch your breath, and be ready for trouble. Indeed. Okay, we've got a signpost. Some shroomies to grab. Ebonheart. Sedanine Normok is that way. Pelagian. Okay. So the Ogrim, if we check the journal. Ah, there it is. Uh, south of Pelagiad. Okay. And we are just about south of Pelagiad. down that way. Sorry about those occasional jumps, guys. They're just little uh, glitches with my mouse for some reason. It doesn't have to do with the game. It's just on my, my desktop. Or my laptop, I should say. Oh, we have found the Ogrim. And a mud crab. Going to approach from this direction. Is that a fish? No, I think those are pearls. Nasty. Boom. Pearls, son. Spotted them a mile away. All right, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Can we pick these? Oh, we can. Marshmallow. Stocks of marshmallow. Any other pearls? Hello, just me. Hello. Oh, oh. mud crab. I got it, Ogrim. Don't worry. I got it, Ogrim. Don't mind me. Crab meat. Friendly, Ogrim. Friendly. Taking your marshmallow. take before disposing, but I think dispose also takes. Alright, let's talk to this Ogrim here. Hello? Come, Thavir. Answer Lord Cuck Cuxuat's riddle. Hmm, you man-thing, not Thavir. Ha <laughs> ha, you answer anyway. Lord Cuxuat's riddle? Okay, here's the first riddle. Wait, you said riddle, not riddles. So? Fine, give me the first riddle. Okay, the kind of coat that is always wet when 
or when you're wet and you put it on the wet coat, what kind of coat you put on to get wet? <laughs> uh... Paint? A coat of paint is wet when you put it on? Oh, uh, maybe. Okay, next riddle. Uh, I forget what Lord Cogswa said, but I know one. How many alchemists does it take to screw in an alembic? That's a joke, not a riddle. You answer me or no? Fine, uh, two. Ha ha, two! But they have to be really small, ha ha. I don't get it. Vlaykora tell me this one. She say it is best one. Okay, last riddle. Three chests. Pick one. One treasure, one nothing, one death by tiny cuts. Um, that's not a riddle either. Lord Kogsua say more, but I forgot. Uh, west chest is best. The trap protects nothing. The middle road explode. One treasure, one nothing, one death by tiny cuts. Okay, wait. West chest is best. The trap protects nothing. The middle road explode. So the west chest is best, okay. Where are these chests at? Oh. Oh my. So wait a minute. West chest. Depends which way I'm facing. Trap is nothing. So actually, no. Just from a a relative perception, where that is the west one. So let's save and uh, do we pick it? Oh, we have to unlock it. I don't have a lock pick, ogre. Maybe I can go get one in Pelagiad. Interesting though, a magical ogre. Don't go anywhere with that. Ogrim. Let's go see if we can get a lock pick in Pelagiad. I knew I should have bought one when I had the chance. But I thought, oh. Our security is so low, we're not going to be doing any lock picking. Huh. Anasi's house. Tavern. Indeed, sir, indeed. Um, halfway tavern. Whoops, there's no item shop here. I don't think so. Oh, is there something you need? Is this it? Ulnaril's arms, an armor. Not from you. I'd be happy to help you, stranger. I'm Ulnaril. People are fairly friendly here in Pelagiad. We don't mind answering a few questions. Wow, you've got all sorts of stuff. Um, to say, anyway. No lockpick. Dang. Wow, you probably have some medium stuff, though. Yep, pauldron. You have a wooden staff of war. Damage attribute, willpower, and intelligence. Iron bolts. Oh, you have a crossbow. A Drew short sword. Dang. Pretty cool. You have throwing stars. Attack four to ten. We're doing one to two, and then whatever the bow does, one to ten. 
and the speed is still 100%. Okay, there's medium bone mold bracers. Well, you have bone mold helmet too, bone mold boots. Yeah, that's my laptop doing that, guys. And it's not heat throttling either. It's not even getting... Oh, maybe it is. <laughs> One second, guys. I actually didn't have turbo mode on. I hope this episode recorded okay. Um, oh, I do have a lock pick. I did pick one up, didn't I? Well, while we're here, we'll get rid of the pearl, drain agility. You don't buy that item. We have 46 gold. I can buy an Imperial Chain Left Pauldron at least. And then sell. If I take that, both of those off, doesn't really hurt my, uh, my stats. But if we put a right pauldron on, there we go. Everything else is heavy. Okay. And uh, now what about this? He has metal tongs, which have 35 uses. They're low quality, but they're, they have a lot of uses. Oh, those are weight 2.5. Those are heavy. Metal tongs are weight 3, which are even heavier. Hammer. Let me go ahead and grab... The metal tongs. Um... All right, I'll give you 34. Nice. Thank you. Please come again. Uh, we'll talk more. I have a chest to go open. Excuse me, sir. I think we came through here. Is there something you need? Yeah, now my fans are kicking on everything. It should be fine. Go ahead. I'm going. I hope the chests are still here. I can't pick those, really. Oh no. They are good. Two new mud crabs. Where do they appear from? buy more ar arrows. Oh my gosh. Shame for the spray. Oh my gosh. I didn't put my armor on either. Let's go ahead and put that armor on. Takes our armor to six, armor to seven, nasty. Okay, so once again, just by looking at the map this way, this is the west chest is best. So, pick this, put our log pick on. There we go. Ogren laughs and says, wrong box. Ah! Ah! And he disappeared. I mean, do that. Nice. 
Nice, short blade went up. I have tons of stamina. It's gonna be a lot of rat meat to sell. Tiny rat. Oh, it's only... It's only worth one. Huh, so can I open the other two, I wonder? He said West is best, but he, I guess he just played me. He lied. Middle road explode. Cave over there. So if we look in it, there's nothing. It's probably the trapped one. Oh, that's locked 40 too, too uh, complex. I don't have a scroll of open. I should be keeping this lockpick for like emergency uses. It's only got five uses left now. Well, this is kind of an emergency. Plus, it's practice. Lockpick success, no kidding. Wow. Wonder if we can trigger it and run away. What do we got hit with? Drain attribute, curse, strength. Four points for 23 seconds. That's not too bad. Nothing in it. So it must be that 40 lock. Now I want to slay a mud crab. short blade which went up guess we just dispose yep it grabs it Let's remember I have spells now too a few of them so we need a way to open a 40 lock chest yeah that one wasn't the west one Lying Ogrim. I should have never trusted him anyway. But anyway. Let's head up here to Pelagiad. Quick save and see how long we've been playing. 48 minutes. Wow, time flies. So I hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. Regardless of not getting that chest open, still having fun. <laughs> Hope you'll join me next time and continue this journey with me. We're just getting started. We'll check out a little bit of Pelagia next time. See what kind of adventure we can get to around these parts. So much to do. So beautiful. Ah, look at that. And you can actually see them moving. Amazing. And some of these look like galaxies. Crazy. But yeah, guys, uh, be well, live well, stay well. Keep looking at the stars. Smash that like button. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Subscribe if you haven't yet, and so on and so forth. And I will see you next time. Come on back. Much love, peace, and joy. Much more fun to be here. I hope to see you next time. Until then, peace, guys.